going on YouTube and thanks for coming back for another video okay guys so in today's video um, it's gonna be answering a couple of questions I received on a couple of my videos number one is is it better to uh, bag or mulch your clippings and number two is proper leaf blowing etiquette I guess you can say so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make a quick video and answering both those questions all right let's go ahead and get started guys Alright guys, so our first question I received was, is it better to mulch or to bag your clippings? And the short answer is, it's really your preference guys. Um, although, I would say the benefit to mulching your grass is, when you mulch, you're essentially feeding your lawn. So you're adding nutrients to your soil and it, it's going to make your grass a little bit more healthy. Mulching is really good, beneficial for your lawn. But if you guys do mulch, you guys want to make sure you do not break that one third rule. So for example, I normally keep this height cut about an inch or an inch and a half. Okay, if I let this go to about four inches, I'm not going to bring it down to one inch, guys. I won't be able to mulch. If I do that, it's just going to be clumps everywhere and it's going to look ugly in the yard. I don't want that. So you don't never want to break that one third rule, okay guys? So keep that in mind. If you guys are going to mulch, if you can, keep up with the mowing. This way you avoid all those clumps in your yard and you start seeing the dead grass clippings everywhere. It just looks looks disgusting. Uh, me, for the most part, if I can, I mulch. But normally I'm, I, I do bag my grass clippings. I'm not sure why, I just the way... I wouldn't say prefer it, that's just the way I started and I always bag the grass clippings. But I do mulch the lawn guys as much as I can. But... Yeah, like I said, there's not really a preference. It's not like one's necessarily better than the other, but there is more benefits to mulching versus bagging. So there answers that question, guys. And now let's go and uh, answer the next one. All right, guys, sorry I had to do this voiceover, but my neighbor was outside making all kinds of noise. So I decided to do a voiceover so you guys can hear me a little better. Uh, this is going to be regarding a comment I received saying, can you show a proper uh, video on leaf blowing etiquette? Because he said that a lot of uh, his neighbors look at him crazy when he's blowing it all into the street. So I'm going to go ahead and try to answer that question for him right here. Okay, so hopefully the question he's regarding is, for example, right now I'm mowing the lawn. And I'm going to do the edges and trimming and all that stuff. So I, you, did, you will see some grass clippings on the sidewalk and whatnot. If this is what he's talking about, then yes, you want to go ahead and blow that back into your yard because you're essentially like, same thing almost like mulching the yard. You're essentially feeding your lawn again. Now, if he's talking about actual leaves that are on the yard and he's blowing onto the street, then I guess I would understand why his neighbor's looking at him crazy because, I mean, you're pretty much just making the street look a little bit dirtier. And another thing you could do, I would say more etiquette, if you want to call it that, is... You want to get your leaves that are on the street that are yours from your tree and if you can just leaf blow it back onto your yard and then you can either a rake them or b go ahead and mow your lawn but you can bag your clippings or you can go ahead and mow your lawn and just mulch all of your leaves if you can if you like to uh, do that but um yeah i really hope this answers a guy's question hopefully and as you can see right here like i'm saying i just leaf blowing all the grass clippings back into my lawn so that you're essentially feeding that lawn and it's gonna like I said it's gonna really do good for your soil add nutrients and uh, really be healthy uh, but yeah guys that's pretty much it for today's video so I hope you guys really found this video very helpful and if you guys have any other questions just go ahead and drop a comment below and uh, hopefully I can answer that and if I can make a video I'll go ahead and make a video for you guys but thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.